on today's episode of Moto Cheese. What is up, boys? We have an Egret Tech portable power station, the Sonic 1200, with G Wave technology, G Flow technology, lightweight design, and outdoor fast charging. This unit is a 1200 watt, 990 watt hour portable power supply. It weighs 10 kilograms, which is 22 pounds. In the box, looks like we have a power cord, a 12 volt charging cord, a pretty good sized booklet, and the unit. They're definitely getting more compact. This one here is a 600 watt power supply with a 300 watt hour battery from only a couple years ago. That has more than double the battery and double the output wattage capacity. So let's power this up. So that's what it looks like boys. Two USB-A 24 watts and two USB-C 100 watts. Your display panel. DC outlet, which is 10 amps. And then off to the right side, we have our AC outlets which are 1200 watts. Off to the left side, we have our power input, which is AC input or solar charging. This does have a light built into it. On low, on high, SOS, and flashing. The back of the unit just has the information. It has a nice convenient carrying handle here. And this has wireless charging on the top as well. And on the bottom, we have the information sticker. Let's get it plugged in and charged up. That's a nice powerful internal charger. Looks like it's doing 810 watts, roughly. 54 minutes to complete charging. A few moments later. 94%, 15 more minutes to go. We're fully charged. So the wireless charging goes off that cigarette lighter socket. And it is charging at fast charge. We'll test the USB-A ports. Nice and tight. Fast charging. Real tight. That's what she said! <laughs> and the USB-C. Super fast charge. That's good, super fast charge. Now on to the 120 volt side. Let's see what it does with a Milwaukee charger. It is charging. Drawing 68 watts and you have 14 hours of charging. And that's the super fast charger for the Milwaukee. Plug in my bench grinder. See how it does with that. That was just running with no load. It's 258 watts. It'll run at three hours. Let's run the drill press. Jeez, that don't take much at all. No load, 150 watts, six hours. Pretty good. How about this belt sander? Draws a lot of power on startup, but it did it. Five hours, no load, 188 watts. Let's say I want to charge up my e-bike or bring this along. These have just about the same watt-hour battery. 
So six hours. So if that was completely dead, it would almost fully charge that bike. Of course you'd have to wait six hours. It will not run that compressor or that welder or that plasma cutter because they draw a lot of amperage and a lot of wattage. Run this hand grinder. almost 400 watts it'll run in a few hours so yeah most hand tools no problem in 1200 watts gives you a lot of options it won't run that compressor either how about the old shop vac About this big fan that's low, medium, high, huh? 250 watts. So I'll run that two foot fan for three hours at 250 watts. That symbol right there means it's solar charging. So I got a 120 watt solar panel on the roof of my Jeep. We're gonna try to do a solar charge with that big orange thing in the sky. The sun should be coming out any second here. So the sun's not directly hitting that panel, but looks like we're putting 30 watts, roughly. And two hours to charge, and it's at 95%. Of course, when the sun's behind the clouds, you're not gonna get too much of a charge. Now we'll plug into the 12 volt socket, plug it in, see what that does. 114 watts charging. I had to start the Jeep because it was drawing too many amperage, so it kept going up, ramping up, and then stopping. Let's see if I can reproduce that. So without the Jeep running, it keeps trying to ramp up the wattage, but then it senses a low voltage. So if you're going to charge this, you're going to probably want your car started and running anyway. Because that is drawing probably 10 amps off that socket. So now we're back on AC power charging. That is an impressive fast charger. Holy cow. So this unit for being its size is, is actually very good, very good output. It's the size of the 600 watters back in the day, boys. About two, three years ago, this was a 600 watt machine. So if you guys are interested, I'll have the links below and any discounts that they give me. And thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on motoshees.com. Thanks for watching.